Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this day where I'm so happy I get to return finally, finally, to season two premiere of Ted Lasso. Last week was all an Agatha all along finale and if you haven't checked it out and you love witchy stuff, and you love witchy stuff, and you love good storytelling, check out Agatha all along. But we're not, we're in England <laughs> and football and okay, so. Season one, we had our Rocky one ending. The team battled their hearts out, but just came up short of victory. Other than that, we didn't have any big revelations. Nate is now officially a coach, and we got our first glimpse, and I'm guessing it's not our only glimpse, of Jamie's father, who seems like a real peach of a guy. But Ted... Sending a little note to him saying, you know, you got the cutoff man. I know that's a baseball reference, but that's what I'm going to use. You got the cutoff man. <laughs> and the little army guy with the little binoculars that says, like, I, I'm watching you. I see you. And for those of you who pointed out, that's also, well, except for the medic. I don't think the medic has a um, firearm. But it's one of the few army men pieces that does not have a firearm. Therefore, not as violent as the other ones because it appears Jamie has had had violence in his life. I love those details. I love those details so much. So I am going to jump right to it because I can hear some of you go, just get to it. So as I finish setting up, you are going to hopefully remember to hit subscribe because I would greatly appreciate it. And you can watch the whole episode with me along on Patreon. I would love to see you there as well. Tonight I am drinking water and I've got a little bit of Riesling because I found out I found it in my refrigerator and I get so excited when I find bottles of wine in my fridge I forgot to purchase so let me know what you're drinking how was your Halloween get any good candy my mother brought me over the big candy bars <laughs> it's a lot of candy bars but okay <laughs> back to the important things at hand <laughs> let's get to it and it's a penalty <laughs> A giant opportunity for the Greyhounds to change their club's tide here. That's and I forgot Roy was injured. Roy was injured. That was Richmond a big deal. Roy being injured. With seven straight ties. Ooh, wow. Tie the record, which is currently a tie between Southampton and Swansea. <laughs> Chris. Is it okay if I pray? Yeah, of course. But to which god and in what language, you know? All of them. The Richmond faithful who've recently gone through so much still fervently behind their club. Well, that's great. That's great they're still behind their club. And a hush falls over Nelson Road. Oh no. Why do we have a bird? Why do we have a bird? This bird's gonna get hit. Howling his encouragement. Something's dying. Something is dying. Football is life. Football is life. Here comes this fucking bird. Yes, it's taking off. Oh no, here comes the Greyhound. That's not what I wished for. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, people always comment, how come you're laughing at terrible things? It's not the terrible thing. It's the fact that somebody in the writer's room made up the terrible theme thing and people went, yes, let's do that. That's what makes me laugh. Not the terrible thing. Poor creature. <laughs> That one perk of being in a lower division now is that not every game is televised. Oh, this one's going to be. The internet. Internet. Twitter is going bonkers, look. Did you write a statement for Ted? Yeah, I did. Then he said, now don't you fret, Bubba Fett. He's got it covered. Okay. <laughs> what about this fellow right here? Trent Grimm. Trent Grimm, the independent. I was wondering if you had any comments on <laughs> Earl. The dog Danny Rocha has killed today. Hmm. 
Trent Krim, bringing that heat. Oh, come on, come up with some good story from back home, Ted. Well, when I was three years old, I got attacked by our neighbor's dog. I do remember being afraid of dogs while growing up, though. Then in high school, our neighbor, Mr. Grady, well, his, his wife passed away. And he was real sad about that, as you can imagine. And he just kind of stopped taking care of their dog. Same one that bit me. Oh, and the, the dog got to live after he bit a kid. Oh, that does not happen out here. And so I started looking after him. Eventually, Mr. Grady's son moved his dad into a nursing home, and he asked if I wanted to keep Hank. And I was like, yeah, heck yeah. And then a year or so after that, we had to put Hank to sleep. It's funny to think about the things in your life that can make you cry just knowing that they existed it can then become the same thing that make you cry knowing that they're now gone. I think those things come into our lives to help us get from one place to a better one. And I hope we helped Earl do just that. We're going to miss him around here a whole bunch. Yeah. I think he answered the question. And how's Danny doing? Mm. I just hope he's not being too hard on himself, you know? Oh, no. He's been like this for 20 minutes. He is praying to all the gods. Oh. He's going to use all the hot water. Mm. <laughs> I would be shocked if that was hot. I think that's ice, ice, ice cold. Because I think he feels that's what he would deserve. Watching the death of me. Well, hey, don't forget. Football's life, right? I know, it used to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Where's Roy? Well, Roy, can Roy lay down some... <laughs> Two words. Y'all don't mind showering at home, do you? Oh, coach, <laughs> if it's okay with you, some of us prefer to take long baths at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See goldfish on Monday. Oh, he calls them goldfish. By means to forget our mistakes and failures and just move on. But I didn't make any mistakes. Only you played poorly. Well, he's gonna be that guy this season. Ooh. Hey guys, Jan Mas is not being rude. He's just being Dutch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, all these ties are my fault. And there I was wishing and hoping for a friggin' tie. And now the karma police are making good on showing me what I get when I mess with them. Oh, that is, that is true. I'm just a little unlucky. So. That's true. Unlucky. Yeah. Man, I love the way y'all use that word over here. Uh, can I leave a little early today? But part of your job is to stay until the whole team's gone. It's my mum's 50th birthday. Oh. Oh, and what, what position does your mum play on the team again? Dude, Nate. Uh, tell your mom a happy birthday from all of us. Nate. Is he gaining a bit of a power trip? What is it with Ted and those cuffs on that sweater? Just, it's a good look on him. No, oh, he didn't mess it up. You were just, uh... Unlucky! Yes! <laughs> we just received a giant food delivery from our rivals over at Brentford FC. That's nice. What kind of food? Dog food. Thai. Oh, now we get it. Howdy, y'all. Ted! What do you say to a cocktail, Coach Lasso? Oh, same thing I'd say to Diane Sawyer if she ever asked me out on a date. Yes, please. Diane Sawyer. <sighs> look on the bright side, Ted. We are still undefeated. Oh, look at you go, Rebecca, with the positivity. Danny's a lot like an expensive tape measure. He snaps back real quick. You hope. You're now looking at the very new, very generous, very guilt-riddled benefactor of Richmond's largest dog shelter. Barkingham Palace. Waka waka waka. To Earl. To Earl. To Earl. Earl. Mm. I should go. I promised the boys would watch Empire Strikes Back. I have to get my thoughts together for when they ask about Luke and Leia making out. They didn't really make out. It was just a longer than probably should have been kiss. Oh my god! <gasps> oh, is that him? Come on! Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> is she going on a date? Him who? Shh. And? Well, I mean... Okay, but? Am I allowed to speak yet? Oh, sorry, Ted. It's just a little bit of girl talk about a gentleman suitor. I've gone out with a few times. Ooh. Little girl talk. <laughs> I get it. What's his name? 
Hey, did Roy come to the game today? Oh, no, he didn't. Sorry, Ted. Mm. Oh, I'm sure he'll swing by at some point, right? Mm. Yeah. I, he knows he's always got a ticket waiting for him at Will Call, yeah? I think... I mean, it's under an alias. It like, last be. week it was um, uh, Loretta Lynn, this week was Dolly Parton, and next week is, if I remember correctly, Shania Twain. And it's nothing personal. It's just that he's been so busy with this new coaching gig. He's coaching? Oh, you listen to me! You play like that next week. Oh, it's his niece's, niece's team, isn't it? Today, you will play like a bunch of little pricks! Monica's mum brought orange slices. Don't eat the peels, you animals. Off you go. Orange slices at a soccer game are classic. Yeah, I think it's going to be decades before Roy could go to a soccer stadium. Rebecca wanted to see if we could do some double date action next week. Fucking hell. Bad word, Uncle Roy. You owe me one quid. Ooh, no, whole quid. Ooh. Can you hold this, please? Come on. Oh, she's got an actual tab. <laughs> So once the season's over, you're gonna have more time to see some friends, right? I see friends all the time. I know. You've got your yoga mums. <gasps> the yoga mums. Sky Sports reached out again. No. <gasps> Last time I did one of your good ideas, I made a fucking fool of myself. You're retired. <laughs> <coughs> I don't wanna be a fucking football pundit. So I'm fucking telling you in a dumb fucking suit like a know it all twat. It's a shit job for shit people. I'd rather shit out of my own mouth and do that fucking shit. 10, 12, 12 quid right now. Wait, right, Peeps, where are we at now? 1,236 pounds. And it's deja vu all oh over God. again. Oh, it's my God. Oh, no. If he can get it past this adorable goalkeeper. <laughs> Why are you doing straight down the middle? <gasps> Football is dead! Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> A little unexpected there. Hello, boss. Oh, hi, Ted. I haven't seen someone that disappointed to see me since I wore a red baseball cap to a Planned Parenthood fundraiser. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I was just hoping you would keep me. That's okay. I wish I was Keely three, four times a day. There you go. <laughs> right. Wait. Well, shoot, why don't you let me take a crack at it? Yes, Really? Please. Yeah, yes, why not? Please, yes, please. Now you guys sit next to her. Look at the phone. Chap, I've been seeing John. Stamos? <laughs> she could pull John Stamos, I think. Would you please stop? Rule number one, even though it's called girl talk, sometimes it needs to be more like girl, listen. I mean, he's a wonderful man. It's very handsome, mm -hmm. uh, successful, nice. not shy. Mm, is he nice to you? Uh, great question, Ted. So I'm confused. Is there a problem here or something? Well, he knows Rupert. Actually, I suppose not. OK, so rule number two is sometimes girl talk can just be blabbing away about stuff and nothing has to really change and no one has to solve anything. Yeah, that's exactly right. I love it. Let's keep going. Come. Oh. OK. Ooh. What's wrong? We got a situation, coach. Oh, ow! How many has he missed? All of, All of them. them. Wow. We're watching the end of someone's career. Not now, Jan. Jeez, Jan! Not too dissimilar from those seen throughout Paul Thomas Anderson's 1999 Opus Magnolia. Is that Tom Cruise with that little tiny ponytail? Oh, Danny. I think you're thinking about the last <laughs> time. Close. You got he a had the waves. Tiny ponytail Magnolia, too, coach. Hi, you, coach. My apologies, <laughs> Danny. Tom Cruise is rocking a little tiny ponytail in both those films. Ah, oh, this show's great. Hey, fellas, light up for midnight poutine. Midnight poutine. Take a deep breath, yeah? He's going to hit him in the back of the head, isn't he? Be the ball, Danny. Now kick it. Look behind you, Dad. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Any ideas? Danny needs motivation. We could always just show him his goddamn paycheck. Jeez, neat. What is this? What is this? I think we already know what it is, don't we, Coach? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to say that. Just <gasps> oh. the way I wrote it down. The yips. Shh. What are the yips? Shh. Yeah, you kidding me, you two. <laughs> But what are? 
It's when <laughs> out of nowhere an athlete suddenly can't do the basic fundamentals of their sport. Sometimes being here is like living in a foreign country. You ever feel that way? Mm. Ted, what are your thoughts on therapy? I love the dialogue in the show. General apprehension and a modest Midwestern skepticism? Why do you ask? Oh, for reals. Well, maybe we should bring in a sports psychologist. Thing on, okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> now, we're nose to nose <laughs> with one another. Oh, John. He's jerking the balls. <laughs> and when he bends over, give him a knee to the nose and be done with it, because screw this guy. And the other half of me is thinking, but it's Martin Short. You love Martin Short. You love Martin Short. <laughs> sure enough. There it was, wedged between the couch cushions. Martin Short's wallet. That's insane. <laughs> it's madness. Okay, get another one, please. <laughs> I love how they're all drinking wine, and Roy is not. John's football mad. Oh, terrific. Who do you support? Well, I bounce back and forward between United and City, whichever club's winning, typically. <gasps> which every, whichever club is winning. No. I'm actually doing a bit of coaching at the moment. I hadn't heard that. Fantastic. Yeah. We've got a cup final next week. West London under nine girls. Can I get another one, please? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that your retirement speech was amazing? It's the first time my father's forwarded me an email in the last five years that wasn't about the scourge of immigration. And that really meant a lot to me, so thank you. Cheers. <laughs> So much characterization by saying so little about the actual ones, character. This is great. This is so great. Here you go, gentlemen. Thank you, Mary. Thanks, May. Shame hey! what happened to Will. Oh, jeez. Uh, wait. When did May get so white? That has a snowball on her head. When did that happen? This whole idea of bringing in someone from the outside to help us get them there. I don't know. It just kind of puts a little knot in my belly. I'm not sure why. <gasps> because Sounds you like know. It might be your Favorite Jim that Blossom song? You're... All You Down? No, Hey Jealousy. Hey, no, Hey Jealousy jealous. is their best song. My it favorite is song, song. Is, is Follow You Down. No, I think there's part of me that just doesn't uh, trust therapists. Will Ted unleash something he doesn't want to unleash? Michelle and I did couples therapy. It was with this therapist she'd been going through for a while. I just kind of felt like I was being set up, you know? Hmm. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, well, let me know if I pass the test. Lunch later this week? Perfect. Uh, he better not be a friend of Rupert and he's setting her up because then he will have to die. Well, I think he's a really good match. I mean, he's age appropriate, financially appropriate. I love that about him. Totally. Fucking hell. <laughs> what are you going to tell your ex tell boss? The truth. He's fine. That's it. It's not about him, it's about why the you think he deserves you. You deserve someone that makes you feel like you've been struck by fucking lightning. Don't you dare settle for five. <sighs> Not that it's any of my business. <laughs> Fine is okay for now, Rebecca. However. <sighs> I wolf you. Oh no. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> hey, look at that! Ooh, oh, oh yeah. um, I just wanted to introduce you to Dr. Sharon Fieldstone. She's going to be looking. Dr. Sharon Fieldstone looks familiar to me, and I don't know from where. Ted Lasso. Oh, you don't need to stand. But it makes it a lot easier to do this. It's, it's, it's not to me to consider this song. I went to greet you. <laughs> So I understand that Danny has developed a case of the yips. Jeez! <laughs> What's going on? Well, Doc, we don't like using that word around here. Why? Um, it's unlucky. So then you're pretty confident that you can help us out with Danny, huh? Are you good at your job? Depends on how you see it. Put all bullshit humility aside and be honest with me. Oh, Dr. Sharon! Are you good at your job, yes or no? Yes. Well, as good as you are at your job, I'm twice as good at mine. <laughs> right, so where should I be conducting my sessions? Sessions, all right. 
<laughs> wow, Higgins, you are relocating. Nice to meet you, Danny. How you feeling? Like a murderer. Want me to stick around, help you break the ice with Danny here? I think we'll be all right, Coach Lasso. Thank you. Te sentirías más cómodo si hablo en español, Danny. You okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Higgins. Yeah. Oh. There's not another office in that building for you? To get. Anyway, this tall redhead pushes in front of me, so I tap him on the shoulder. He turns around and goes, Is there a problem? I know the choreographer. Guess who it was? Ted. Ted. John is an O. Oh. John's a name dropper and a confrontationalist, it sounds like. Hmm. Oh, it's just, dating is so odd, isn't it? We are all strangers, essentially, so, I mean, how is it ever possible to truly feel safe with someone? I suppose you can't. You know, my friend Flo. Flo! It does make you realise how scary it is allowing yourself to be intimate again. I mean, you really do have to be brave. And that's it right there, isn't it? I need to be brave enough to let someone wonderful love me without fear of being hurt and without fear of being safe. So are you breaking up with me? Ooh. You immediately knew you could not be that person for her? No, 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 no. Danny Rojas, Rojas, Danny Rojas. Danny Rojas. May I join the drill? Sure thing, Danny, si, yeah. Si. But hey, you, you take this at your own pace, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sharon's like, my work here is done. Uh, yeah, but hold on a sec. Um, I'm just curious, what did she, um, yeah, I mean, what ended up helping you? Dr. Sharon helped me remember that even though football is life, football is also death. And that football is football too. But mostly that football is life. <laughs> oh no, does Ted see a competition in, 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 in revelations? Hey, Higgins. Doc still here? Oh, wait, Ted. She's in a session. A session? Rebecca? Oh. Thank you, Sharon. For real. You're welcome. Oh. Thierry? Oh, yes. Oh, she's got a line. Oh, my goodness. I feel like a little shit. I used off one night out together to try and change your mind about something you don't want to do. That was tacky. I'm really sorry. Oh, look at you go, Keely. Thank you. Yeah, but you can beg for forgiveness later. I can swing by and wake you up. Oi! Roy! Hurry up, it's about to start! They're not doing yoga, they're watching Real Housewives of some place. What did the yoga finish? Who will be eliminated this oh, week watching on the Island. UK's number one show, Lust Conquers All? Lust Conquers All. Oh. Associate Ellie. Can't fit me off, yeah? I'm the one who makes your lips tick. Or will it be the footballing tart, Jamie? <gasps> <laughs> I'm the island's top scorer. Sexually. <laughs> God, I love him. Oh, same. Oh, Jesus. Can you chop up my rosé, please, Janice? Pharmacist from Warrenwood. Pharmacist? And Jamie Tart. Do 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 do. <laughs> even know where to begin because that was so peak Ted Lasso everything that I love there was some comedy there was some heart there was <laughs> witty dialogue oh, such my jam and jelly and everything in between so I'm telling you right now if I did not include your favorite joke your favorite wink whatever it's not my fault it's because I can only show so much on YouTube without getting up Copyright. So um, you're going to have to watch the whole thing with me on Patreon because there's no way I can include it all. There's just, there's just no way. There's no way. I can't even say what was my favorite bit because there was so many. But I think the standout, the one that's going to stand out to me the most is Roy just telling Rebecca, who was his former boss. Hey, 
he probably never socialized with her, but he was like, it's fine, doesn't matter. Just, you deserve what you want. Don't settle. Because you're amazing. Don't settle, essentially. So good. Roy with the... Roy with the truth bombs! Nate's a little scary this season so far, though. A little scary. A little... In more intense than we've previously seen from him. In a way that could be considered a little... Negative. I want Nate to succeed. Somebody asked me last season on in the comments, and I can't remember who it was, sorry, but who my favorite character was. And for me with this show, it's not one. It's a, it's the ensemble. All of them together are just, I can't imagine one without the other because I love something pretty much about all of them except for Jamie. Oh, top score. I get why he's there, but that type of personality in real life makes me want to drink so, <laughs> even more than normal. No, so Rupert, yeah, Rupert can go, comes up. But again, I know why he's there. And I think as much as I talk about how much I hate Rupert, I think that's also the fun part is just hating them so intensely. But no, everybody, I enjoy everybody for different things. And I need them all together. And I want them all to succeed. However that succession looks like, I want them to succeed. So I'm excited for more of this and I'm excited to watch this again because there were so many good things and I know I was laughing and I missed other little side jokes. So I'm glad these are shorter episodes so I can watch them multiple times. <laughs> There we go, the season two premiere. Thank you so much for being with me. Do not be a stranger. Hit subscribe, and I guess there's a bell. I don't know what the bell does. You all know what the bell does. Don't tell me what the bell does, because I won't remember. But do the things so you know when the next video drops. And until next time, this is your reminder to walk. And about you, if your mother dropped off a crap ton of Halloween candy, go for a walk. Do some push-ups, even if it's against a wall. Um, stretch, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.